Call the meeting to order. All rise for the meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call the council, please.
miles worth of swale with irrigation plants that would have to be maintained. So it was a very wise choice. And of course, as soon as I saw this sheet, I made a phone call to these modular wetland folks to see where they were with their uh, approval of the wetlands. Did it have to have uh, <coughs> approval through ecology to actually keep our ecology grant that you guys received of six hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars? They said they submitted it back in June with their outside advisory group, and they still anticipate to have approval before the first of next year, or by the first of next year, which would be, my understanding, good for our project to keep the money. We can have it by the time of the construction. So, checking checking in with that and seeing where we can go. Other than that, uh, we've addressed driveways. I think that's one of our most recent things, making sure everybody that has uh, truck traffic coming in and out of the driveways, that the driveways are wide enough to accommodate that. Um, actually, have a wide enough in the driveway, about 10 feet, from 30 to 40 foot, to make sure that the trucks get in and out and not drive over the curb and better. Because ultimately, the curb better is city property, and you guys don't have to go back there and <laughs> you're replacing curb and better anytime soon. Um, and then, of course, right away, uh, as of today, I think we're down to one they actually filed, which was Alpaca Pizza, so that one is the full end of the lawsuit for Rena. Um, it sounded like he was going to sign a possession of use. And then we have Paul West, who's ready to sign. They can come back into town today, so we're still trying to get together. Um, Dean Parsons, just with the owners to come together and sign the document. And the LTI.
marking. Um, oh, a couple of years back, they added to the RCW that you have to mark the sensor locations uh, for bicycles. So that they, if you're uh, say using the left turn lane, you get, you know where to stop a bike so that it's detected by your uh, signal controller. Well, this is a camera, so it'll okay. pick up. Uh, well, you think so, but some cameras don't. So I was going to ask, is, are we confident that they're going to work on the program against the sensitivity of it? Because okay. Because okay. And contrast, there's yeah. no doubt that mm -hmm. the light yeah. is right. Yeah. 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 Auburn can tell you about that with the one by the train track. The sun is setting right that way. They have some trouble picking things up. Mm -hmm. So make sure to ask. Uh, I spoke to Oliver today, yeah. and he didn't indicate to me that. There's any objection. You know, no objection, it's just because of the tight time frame. Yeah. They probably have to go file because we need to. And so we're really wanting signatures on the dotted line. A lot of people are saying yes, but without signature, it's not official. So we might have to stamp my attorney taking for our attorney. All right. Because uh, and we're, we're letting them know that we will probably have to do this, but we know we're still going to work forward to this. We call them out. You indicated to me that the wives of the two uh, boys that have the Alzheimer's, that they do have power of attorney, the wife have power of attorney. Yeah, I heard that I believe that one has power of attorney medically, but not breaking but medical. Oh. Yeah. We're, right. we're helping her find a form so she can get official power of attorney to correct it.
body repair or something. Yeah, but that has he hasn't been painted. Okay. When we get the background documentation, can you make sure we get the previous resolution yeah, that passed for yeah. yeah. And I'll have a copy of the map and everything. <coughs> Uh, the mayor asked if I would explain, and would 
you like me to talk about? It's up to you. You go for it. I'd like you to tell them why we want to do this. The, um, I'm putting together a staff study, but to just notify the, the council, we, we have about $4,000 left in an EMPG grant. And that money, along with the, the price of the cars, it would be close to being able to purchase a radar trailer that also you can put for a bitch where we could use it for an evacuation route or street closed, but it's a radar unit. And we've had lots and lots of citizen complaints on speeding lately. And we've been trying to run radar to various parts of the city, but we have been. And with this trailer, it, it's a data, it supplies data such as the average speed of vehicles, time of day, day of the week. Uh, there's a lot of information that we could use to take a, take a complaint and deal with it. And if that means there's information, we should be out there running radar, then we will put a patrol car out there instead of the radar trailer. But that was, the mayor and I had discussed this, and um, I found out today that the MPG has agreed that that could be used for that. So if we have a deadline, it's been, the MPG money has got to be spent at least over, we had to have to order something by the end of the month. So it's a little bit crunch time, but we still have time. Um, they don't, it's usually a thousand dollars to add the data package, which I think is as important as the trailer itself. And then they, they don't, I don't think they added that on, but I've talked to a lot of cities that use this data. So I'll, I will do it, I'll bring a staff report to the council when, when we get everything we find. Thank you. Oh, unrelated, but there was an accident on First Avenue. Uh, a woman was hit. Um, do we know how she's doing? Did anybody hurt anything? I heard this morning. Well, Saturday night she made it through surgery, which they didn't expect her to survive the surgery. And then over the weekend, there she's in ICU. And over the weekend, there were uh, a couple episodes that were that she they had to deal with. I mean, by no means she's not out of the woods, but she's doing better than what they had expected. I don't know if we can say. I don't know if she is, but well, I know there's only one woman I see all the time on that road. And she's always doing her yard. Yes.
informed when we bought the last software package. It, it was set up for an accrual system, and our city is on a cash system, and it's causing nothing but problems. Uh, both Richard and Betty feel that if we were to switch to a, product, a different product, there's uh, BIAS, for instance, has a transition package to tran transition from the old uh, Springbrook into their system, and they're based on cash. That's a cash-based system. Uh, we need to consider taking a look at that. It's going to be a, a chunk of change. I don't know where we stand yet with getting a refund back, but we're paying $15,000 a year for service on a software system that we can't get service on. So, so we need to think about getting a system that works so that we can get accurate numbers and know where we stand financially. No, what, what the next step? You know, where do we go? I mean, um, is the city going to bring recommendations? Well, my understanding is Rich isn't ready to bring this forward yet. Otherwise, he'd be here to speak on it. He didn't want it to come forward yet. They're working on getting us numbers and getting through this transition yeah. part first. This but is, yeah, this discussion just intended as a heads up. It's coming your way. So, but um, one of the things that he has pointed out, and he'll share with council when he gives a report, and I'm sure he showed at that finance committee, was the current system we have, as um, Holt Dennis and Betty has been telling us, is not working for the type of system that we run. We're a cash based city. But um, the software that he's looking at that will probably cost us up front, but in the long run, is going to save time and money for us on the amount of staff time that it takes to operate the system and it's set up for smaller cities to have the date. One of the other advantages in the long run is that the, if the native system is set up for doing cash basis accounting and keeps track of the numbers accurately during the year, then when we want a mid-year financial report, uh, anybody who's been on council for long remembers how long it takes to do all of the adjustments to make a report that council can read. And that's that's not recent even on this version. That's something that they're reporting on the existing software has not really met our needs for quite some time. Uh, and uh, the preliminary report they've given us is that this is much more, it's because it's tra tracking the money the way it's supposed to be tracked, you can just print the reports and they're actually accurate and usable without lots of manual adjustments and reformatting. But there's cities that currently use Springbrook for cash basis. Can we talk to them to see how they're doing it? Well, and that's the reason Rich wasn't ready to bring this forward. He's still having those conversations with the other cities, and that's why he is telling me I'm not ready to bring this to council yet. I'm still getting information. And so um, he was going to gather that and get all that documentation before he got it forward. Just a heads up. Um, any other comments or questions? Um, I'd like to add, I guess not even ask me just, just briefly discuss. So when Leanne was appointed to mayor, there's a couple holes in some of the committee assignments. <coughs> but one of the discuss with council, do we just ask Katie to fill up in those, or do we want to reshuffle committee assignments from now to the end of the year? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now we're, we're, we're going to discuss that and we're happy to be briefly, but it looks like the first week of September. And then never again? No, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> do one in a month. That's we're just trying to work around the schedule to get that first meeting yeah, that's back right. on schedule. I, I went to the finance meeting with Karen um, Josh. And I will continue to go to those entities going there. The finance typically the, the Tuesday after each meeting, right? Each, mm -hmm. each council okay. meeting. Oh, so it's every other week. Every other okay. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. okay. And it's 6 o'clock in here. 6 o'clock, 6 30. 6 o'clock, 6 30. And I'll, uh, I will let you know. You can meet me and Trent.
friends sat this evening, but it will be really brief, and then I'll talk to Darcy, and I think she's pretty uh, you know, good for whenever we want to have the meeting. <coughs> okay, so that's human services? Yeah. And I'll continue going to the tech meeting. So the what? That's for the Sound Cities Association, the Public Issues Committee. Okay. Yeah. Is there any other one? We'll find out the right one. Thank you. 